What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode, I'm gonna show you how I collaborate with clients using a tool called Notion. If you don't know what Notion is, it's a note-taking platform that's so much more than a note-taking platform. It's got calendars, it's got spreadsheets, it's got databases, it's got reminders and to-do lists and Kanban Trello-esque boards. It's got everything you need to set up the way you wanna collaborate with clients. And in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how I collaborate with clients. Let's get started. All right, here we are on the dashboard of my Notion setup. This is my all-in-one stop shop kind of place to look at everything in my life. But if I head over to my freelance projects area, you'll see that I have a list of active and my most recently archived projects. I also have a button up here that says new freelance project. So anytime I wanna create a new freelance project, all I have to do is click right here. Let's see what's inside of this. If I scroll over to the right, I can see I have a little configure template. And this is actually, this button creates a brand new template that's really, really complex. So it's called, the button's name is new freelance project and the template is called project workspace. Let's click into that template and see what it looks like. Every time you click this button, it's gonna create a new project workspace that has all of these elements already established inside of it. It has a place for proposals and meeting notes and mood boards and design systems and brand assets and deliverables and invoices and a Kanban to-do list so I can see what's going on with the project. All of these are prepared and all you have to do is press that button and you can add anything else that you want to this predefined project workspace. So let's go back to freelance project and let's go ahead and click new freelance project. Sure enough, Notion has made that new project workspace and it takes us right there and here we are. It did it all in one click. I'm ready to go with this client. The first thing you should know about this project workspace and any other page in Notion is that it's shareable. I can head right up here to the top right and hit share and I can say share to the web. The second thing you should know is you have control over the permissions of this document. For instance, I have a link here and everybody who has this link will have access to basically nothing except to duplicate it as a template. We wanna turn that off. And what I wanna do is allow comments. I don't wanna allow editing and I don't want search engines to index this file. I just want my clients to be able to come on here and comment on anything that they see. So after I'm done doing that, I can either invite people here or email them this link. Once I've done that, my client can come into this workspace and they can start a discussion right here on the workspace. This looks great and they can send that. They can at mention me or anybody else who is part of this workspace just by hitting the at symbol, so that's pretty cool. We can resolve comments here or anywhere else just by clicking the little resolve button and they can do that on any one of these aspects. Let's talk about each one of these components inside of this project workspace and how I might use that with a client. First up is the proposal section. This is actually the first thing that I would do. I would click into this section, I would customize this proposal area, and then I would only share that to the client. Then once the client and I decide to work together, I'm gonna come back out to my main project workspace, rename it, and then I'm gonna share the client to everything that is there. That way they have access at first only to the idea of the project or to the agreement, and then later on all the elements and assets and components. So inside of my proposal, I'm gonna customize it a little bit, but I have some standard sections that I usually use in every proposal. Project overviews, project details, requirements, payment schedules, links, and questions. Again, if a client has a question, like on, for instance, on the payment schedule, all they have to do is click on it and they can comment on it just like so. They can at mention me and I can resolve that comment as we go. It's a pretty nice workflow. All right, next up is the meeting notes. This is literally just an ongoing workspace that has individual pages for the meeting. We're always gonna have a kickoff meeting, but then maybe we have a follow-up meeting there, and then maybe there is a June 15th meeting right here. And I'm inside of each one of these meetings, I can you know use templates, or I can just start typing out different bullet points or to-do lists or add new pages inside of there. All of that can happen inside of each one of my meetings and I can keep track of them. I usually keep track of them chronologically. 
Next up, I'd usually move into some sort of discovery phase with the client, and that's what the mood board section is for. I click into the mood board section, and it has a gallery view of different cards that I can just continue stacking up and stacking up that are all inspirations for the project. So for instance, if I had a new something that I found, I'd click new. I would drag maybe an image in there or a series of images in there. I could write something here, and then maybe even a little note for it down here, and then that shows up. And I can rearrange these, I can tag them in all sorts of different ways. It's just a really good way for clients to access not only visuals, but written reasons and inspirations that I might find for the project. Next up is the design system. As I start actually doing some design work, there's gonna be some components that start to assemble. It's a little bit of a mood board, but this is more of a put together mood board, things that are actually starting to come together, like logos and colors and typography, different things about icons, accessibility, tone and voice. If I click into color, you can see all I have to do is create a gallery and inside of these elements, I can actually put a, the name of a color, the hex or the RGB and it shows up as a custom cover. This is actually the stock template right out of Notion. It's come in handy a lot and that's what I start my design systems off with. Next up, we have brand assets and deliverables. This is the place where at the start of a project, I'll ask clients to upload anything that they have that represents their brand or pertains to their company or website. And then later on, I'm gonna make a new section down here that's the actual deliverables, my final deliverables, so the client can always come back to this area and get what they need. Last up, we have invoices, and when I click into invoices, I usually have a number of invoices. I break projects down by milestone, so beginning, middle, end, and each of these invoices would either be a file that I've uploaded here or a custom invoice that I've created right here in Notion. Lastly, down at the very bottom, we have our Kanban to-do list. As I'm kind of creating things that I need to do, I'm gonna go ahead and add those to my to-do list. So here in the get started, let's say I, I need to mood board and then maybe after that I need to uh, wireframe and then after that I have to do something so I move it over from not started to in progress and to completed and all the way into archive so I can keep track of the project the client is also seeing this and they're seeing what steps are happening in the process as we go again the key to all of this is that it's shared with the client they can comment on anything and everything see you working on things in real time and have some sort of involvement in every aspect of the project Project. It's an awesome way to collaborate with clients. Well, that's it. That's how I collaborate with clients using Notion. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do tons of content about design and development and workflow stuff just like this, so maybe stick around. If you're interested in trying out Notion, there's a link down in the description for you to check it out yourself and see if it's for you. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. I hope you're making amazing things. And I hope your collaboration workflow is super dialed in. I'll see you in the next one.